Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where I cook for you, do hauls, what's for dinner segments, and today my husband and I, Thomas, went to Trader Joe's to do a haul for you, and we found some fun favorites, yep. old favorites, yep. some new things, a couple. and we're also going to have Thomas try a few along the way. She's always trying to kill me. <laughs> I'm always trying to get them right. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification and you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all, we're going to get started with... Euro. Euros. Okay, my son had requested Euro Night sometime this week and it's going to be part of my What's for Dinner. So I'm going to show you how we're going to cook these Euro Slices. Okay, so it's kind of like a beef. So they are fully cooked, and all you have to do is heat them up and serve them. And we're going to be serving these with tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki. It's a creamy garlic cucumber dip. I love that. That you stuff. drizzle over your gyro meat. Or you suck it up with a straw. Look at that. It's We've good. had this before. It's really good. I make homemade tzatziki sauce too, but yep. for this week, because we have a fast week coming up, this was going to be easy. And we were going to put all of this on pita bread. Yum. That way we can eat them as sandwiches. All right, so these are original pocket pita bread. Yep. That's one of our meals this week. Isn't that what they usually use at the festival? It's pita. Yes, we yeah. love gyros when we go to the Renaissance Festival. Oh, they're so good. Tell me below where you eat gyros at, if they're, you've ever had them before. They're yummy. Next. <laughs> Vanilla cake and baking mix. Now, I've made this before on my channel. It's in a segment that I do called Cook and Review with Trader Joe's baking boxes. So I'm taking, but I'm going to bring it back because I'm going to be doing something different with it. When I showed it the first time, I showed you all the instructions on how to make it per Trader Joe's. I'm going to be making this almost the same way, but I'm going to be adding peach bellini jam mm. in some way, shape, or form to that vanilla cake. <laughs> They're right. gonna be married. So it's gonna be part of my Trader Joe's cook and review segment, and that'll be coming up really soon also. Stay tuned. Yay! Okay, let's get Thomas trying something. <sighs> Our store finally has this. You wanna show them the cute stuff on there? No. Organic spicy taco sauce. I don't even know if you can see it, because <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> so, we're gonna drag out these restaurant style chips here. Now these are white corn tortilla chips. See, she always try and she's not gonna be happy till I'm like hacking up a lung from this stuff because you know <laughs> it's so hot. I like to find the hot stuff for them. <laughs> eh. What do you think? Very tomatoey. It's got a good flavor though. Go get my water ready. <laughs> I think you'll be fine with it. Mm. You know, it's got a warm flavor to mm -hmm. it. Like there's some cumin in there. Mm. That tastes good. It's really good, but there's, there's no heat. So I got this because we're going to be doing taco night this week. So I have this organic stone ground yellow corn taco shells right here. So we're gonna have that this week for a quick meal. Oh, those are good. And you know, because it's Trader Joe's, here's some taco seasoning that I'm gonna be pairing with it. Okay, so in the taco seasoning, there's cumin, cayenne pepper, cane sugar, paprika, onion powder, black pepper, red bell pepper, oregano, chili powder, and smoked paprika. That's all that's in this little pack right here. There's nothing else. I'm gonna turn it around. And we'll zoom up on there for you so you can believe me. All right. I believe you. Old favorite for me, cornbread, cornbread crisp. Mm. Yeah, those are good. Yes, I'm excited about that. Oh, you know what? Those would be really good on that onion stuff we had a few times back. Oh, mm. that chili onion yeah, spread? That, yeah. 
Yeah. That'd be good. All right. Tell me what you use your cornbread crisp for if you've ever eaten these. I eat them just out of the bag. No, they're good. <laughs> good right like out of the too, bag. Yeah. All right. So, oh, look at these mac and cheese bites. I needed something for the air fryer <laughs> and I didn't want to get cheese sticks. So, these will fit the bill. How many see is that in there? macaroni and cheese on the back of here? There are three pieces times 3.5 servings, three and a half okay. servings. So, yeah. probably about 10. 10 or 11. 10 in there? Yeah. All right. Not there even a go. dozen. We'll have to cook those when Joseph's not home. I don't mind. <laughs> He's our mac and cheese lover in the He's house. He's the cheese head. Okay, next we have. Milk chocolate smashing s'mores with graham crackers and marshmallows. Those are big honking pieces. So we're gonna find out. <laughs> All right. She little, but she's strong. I'm letting him try this. We've never had these before, so these are smashing s'mores. They smell so good. Mm. Yeah. What do you think? It's a. Uh, it's a s'more. Okay. Time to get ready set for you. It's marshmallow on top, cookie on bottom, and, and chocolate, chocolate everywhere. everywhere. Yep. What is this? That's a matzo ball. <laughs> well, it's not a matzo ball. It's a mozzarella cheese ball. It's a matzo ball. Look at that. Mmm. Fresh cheese. I'm going to be putting that on some pizza dough for mm -hmm. lunch with some marinara sauce and put that on there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And some basil. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about right there. All right. Or as the English say, basil. Basil. Sounds like somebody's name. All right. I found some peppers today. Look at this. These are called Fiesta peppers. <laughs> Fiesta Peppa. So that's what the bag looks like. I'm telling you, you take that part off and it you cover like that part, apple. you got an apple. Look. <laughs> and there's the other one. <laughs> it's a baby brother. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh. Slice those up and put that into something. Mm, maybe my pizza. <laughs> one of these days I'll figure out where this goes to be on the camera. <laughs> one of these years. So next we picked up, yo, this was interesting. At our store, Trader Joe's, they usually don't have squash and zucchini loose. And at this price, I'm going to show you the price up above or down below, wherever the price went. <laughs> up. Okay, usually they're packaged already for you in like what? Four in a pack or something? Three, four in a pack, yeah. Yeah, so it was kind of cool to get to pick our own out at Trader Joe's, like if you're at Kroger or something like yeah. that. So anyway, kind of there cool. we go. So these are what we picked up, two each. Sorry for the, that was kind of lame. That was kind of weird. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh. What yep. Is oh, that's a banana cream It is a banana thing. cake with cream cheese frosting. Yep. Yeah, we're going to dig into this and Heck take a bite. Yeah. It's messy. See? It looks fresh. Oh, my God. That's banana bread underneath for sure. That's good. Banana bread with cream cheese frosting. That's good without the frosting. We have a winner. And to combat all the sweets. Alright. We got some green beans. Yay! I'm gonna cook these in the instant pot with some chicken broth and some cooked bacon. Oh, that's his favorite. Mm -hmm. That is his favorite. I'll eat the whole pan. Yeah, he will. Okay. Got some organic baby broccoli. We, we, and we got cauliflower for the week. This was a whole lot cheaper than getting it already pre-packaged, okay? Because it was like half of it for more in a package. And I, I don't mind at all cutting this up and steaming this or putting it in the oven and roasting it. So, there we go. Bananas! Banners. We always got to get their 19 cent bananas. Unless we're at Costco and we get them from there. Yeah, <laughs> right. either way we like bananas. Yeah, alright, we got that. Yep, I got some uh, raw cane sugar. Brewing my coffee. You put this in the coffee filter with the coffee, and it makes it kind of sweet. I can't see your face. I like it. Well, okay. they, they know what I look like. <laughs> Go in the other room. <laughs> and in case you want to know what coffee he likes, there it is. What and, is it? And <laughs> it's good coffee for the price. Four pounds. 
Nectarines. I love nectarines. Oh, look at those. Oh yeah. We're gonna be sharing these. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine for that. There's a lot of them in there. Four pounds. I'm gonna figure out something to do with them for y'all for a dessert. Well, mm -hmm. one of them's going in my belly shortly. One of, yeah, I better make that dessert quick. <laughs> <laughs> I better make it quick. All right. The weirdest, oh. maybe the weirdest thing ever. This is ketchup flavored spud crunchies. Um, mm. He's not gonna try it, y'all. Comment down below and say, Thomas, why do you not try those? Because or, it's nasty. Or tell him, yes, we believe you. It's like putting ketchup on a baked potato. Nobody does that. <laughs> I don't do that, but. What's up, Beagle? It tastes like ketchup. Who's a pretty girl? You know what it tastes like? Mm -hmm. Fries and ketchup. There you go. Fries and ketchup? Yes. All right. So if you think of it as that, fries with ketchup on them, that's perfect. That's what you got. See, he was thinking on another whole le level. Think about fries and ketchup. It you does. It? Yes. Yeah. All right. There you okay. go. That's it what does. they taste like. See, I don't know. <laughs> I do see something that I don't know how it got in my cart. Well, we'll see that here in just a second. No, okay. I'll let you try. <laughs> I don't want to try it. You can try it. You don't want to try it? No, I All feel. Right. Our favorite eggs at Trader Joe's. <laughs> we either get these eggs or we get eggs from Costco. 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 Nowhere else. Nope. All right, so I got two this time because we keep running out of eggs before yeah. you even get to Costco and or another trip to Trader Joe's. So there we go. And if you know which one came first, chicken or the egg, let me know. Let us know. Because it's an argument. <laughs> I want to know who's right. This was on our last haul, but we totally forgot to put it in the haul. She told me that. <laughs> I did. I left it on the counter and forgot about it. Pink grapefruit marmalade. Oh my gosh. We have already been in here making toast for breakfast and putting some pink grapefruit marmalade on there. What does it taste like? It's it, it, like pink grapefruit. Can you, can't, you smell no, it? No, right? it, it's, it's not something you can smell really, but it tastes good. So I, I vouch for that right there. All right, so we have... I'm getting Something that Thomas is going to try for us. Uh, you're going to try this. Oh, I'm going to try? Yeah. I'm getting nuzzled by a beagle. <laughs> this is milk chocolate with whole hazelnuts. Oh, I nice did not treat. put that in the cart. No, I she snuck did. that in the cart. It was over by the registers. Impulse. Impulse. That's why you don't go hungry. Holy crap, it's got a so lot of hazelnuts. That Man, like. that's yeah. thick, too. It's full. Look how thick that I'll is. I'll show y'all the whole thing. That's what it looks like right that's there. That's nice. Yeah, nice little square. Take a square. I'll just show y'all the squares. Take a square. Mmm. I love macadamia nuts. What? We don't have a treat for the beagle, do we? Nope. Not today. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching our show today. If you have a favorite... Let us know down in the description box down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you'll always know when our hauls are posted and all my other videos are posted too. Green beans. And give us a thumbs up for our haul today. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yes. All right. I will see you on my next episode. Bye.